Hello group. Hi. Welcome as well to our new members. Over 65 members in just a few days. That is phenomenal. Which also makes us the fastest growing model internal combustion engine group on Facebook. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gary Miller. If you don't know who I am, I'm the admin of this group and I also contribute uh, every now and again with a few uploads. Today is the final completion upload of the two engine more engines I'm modifying. This morning the postman came with this little box with Chinese writing on it which I opened. Two complete ignition systems for each in ET1 or I believe they're also called Microcosm M90 engines available from Smurf 88 store on AliExpress the number one store by the way I get all my engines and all my parts from this company who are very quick and their service is second to none so anyway if we go to the engines and you own one of these or are thinking of owning one the first thing you notice are some contacts on the side here which open and close as, as this piece goes across to work the spark at the plug these little contacts are absolute nightmares they need constant cleaning adjusting or regular replacing for the engine to run correctly so having an e-chain engine already prior to these i was familiar with this ignition system where i've just showed you in the bag and this little disc magnet and the sensor there now then i've got the green engine because it might see it a bit more clearly against the green background but the sensor's there um it's just a case of a drill and a tap and putting a screw in and the magnet is exactly the correct diameter to fit straight on this shaft I mean you just couldn't make that up it's just perfect for the job really and of course the wires uh, go in there and out the side and if I look at this engine here underneath you can barely see any wires whatsoever on the previous system with the contacts on the side you had some horrible black white and red wires which went down there and they did look unsightly to say the least this system on these engines eliminates all the adjustments what needs continually doing and cleaning etc and the timing is so easy to adjust on these it's just a case of slackening that little screw and rotating the disc left or right before top dead center bang on dead center or just after top dead center to get the engine to run as you want it on the old system you had to slacken these nuts off here and move this on this piece here to alter the opening and closing all that is gone now so this one here I've already done this one's going to get done later tonight I'll let you have a look underneath I've got to be careful there's petrol in this but you can see the lovely neat installation although I am very good with electrics um, of how that fits in there and looks so nice we have a dummy battery here so the electrics are actually now running on 3 volt DC rather than 4.5 volts now then the reason that we do that is it should technically increase the life of the ignition unit but also on four and a half volts sometimes you get a thing called flyby arcing where the arc actually jumps across the outside of the plug onto earth there rather than go through the tips of the spark plug this can cause numerous problems and if you feed less into a cdr unit you naturally get a little bit less out and it tends to eliminate this flyby arcing or minimize it to say the very least now then 
you probably want to see it run which I promise you I haven't got much fuel in this and the fuel is rather rather too oily so it will only be a short run anyway but this will be the Ichin engine running sorry the Engimore engine running on an Ichin ignition system right without further ado let's see you go as I say we don't have any more of this uh, horrible thing here now it's all done on a magnet disc and it's just so easy to turn that to adjust the timing isn't that sweet and that's all on this magnet sensor magnets and sensor read sensor system there Timing's a little bit out, it needs a little bit of playing with to get exactly how I really want it, but it gives you some idea anyway of how nice the run on the new ignition system. There we go. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, of course, to join my YouTube channel as well. A link I will add a little bit later on. Thank you. Bye.